Hi, I'm Pink Panther Press and I'm a singer. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's fire in my heart. I smoke, but I don't smolder. I wake in the winter. Keep me clean if you want to grow older. A chimney? Is it in this? It's right behind me. What a stupid cow. Okay, right. No, this is so fun, I'm sorry. When I used to do sleepovers, I used to make these for my friends and they would never play it. I grew up in Bath in a interracial household of a Kenyan mother and an English father. And then I moved to Canterbury when I was about six years old. My father moved away and so it was just me and my mum. I went to London a lot when I was a kid because there wasn't really much to do in my hometown. School was cool. I used to love my chemical romance and like all these emo people. So I'd start dressing really emo and I'd wear like three belts. So then naturally I found my crowd. We went to this bandstand in Canterbury and that's where we'd hang out and we'd drink monster energy drinks. Aesthetically, I chose to be different from a lot of other people. But I feel like personality wise, I was kind of attuned to everyone else in my ear, to be honest. I think I was popular in my ear, I'm not gonna... I hate to say it, people always wanna say they weren't popular. I was popular in my ear. First paid job was working at a cricket ground in Canterbury. <laughs> I remember I kept eating the desserts and people, they kept bitching about me behind my back and I found out and I, was, and I left the job. Cause we were all eating the desserts, it wasn't just me. Who's laughing now? Yeah, and who is laughing now? And then I did my listening party there and I brought Skrillex <laughs> to my listening party. So, and it was set at the cricket ground, so. I was built so mankind can feel close to the gods. You can find me in my mighty at the Acropolis. They'd say I'm a humble version of myself. Oh my God, I, I legit, I legit, legit, legit. Oh my God. This is really cute. Oh my God. What's your earliest memory of childhood? I stole five pounds from my dad and um, to go specifically to Subway. Cause when I was a kid, Subway was like, Michelin star restaurant. So I gave my friend the five pounds. The five pounds must have come out of her pocket. We end up going to Subway, we order a sandwich, and we can't pay for it, obviously. They just have to unwrap the sandwich in front of my eyes and they put all the vegetables back in the, in the thing. I remember crying in Subway. What would you be if you weren't a musician? I feel like I definitely want to be um, the wife of someone rich. I'm not joking, no, it's not even on, a, on an empowerment thing, it's legit. There's a lady who sure all that glitters is gold and she's buying a, something to heaven. Ticket! Well, if it, is it stairway? Oh. There was one year where I... <laughs> you know, I remember I would go to bed upset each day that I knew I couldn't be a K-pop star because, I mean, at the time I thought, you know, you had to be Korean to be a K-pop star. I used to cry like myself to sleep. Even though I can't perform like that, I can't dance at all. Like, I just love watching it. My favorite K-pop groups are Shiny, FX, Red Velvet, EXO, BTS, yeah. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La. I was never that great at singing, but I was just like, I, I really enjoyed writing. I, at first I actually wanted to play bass. And then I just realised if I want to get nails and stuff, I can't play bass. So I ended up falling into singing instead. Me a name I call myself, far a long, long way to run. Tea, a drink with bread and jam. Oh, that was, that was not cool. I'm, just, I'm joking. I don't know how you came up with these. This is ridiculous. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry, this is a sheet music for Boys Lie on piano, I believe. Don't rain me far. Yeah. Okay, cool. What was the most surprising thing you learnt from working with Ice Spice? I think the most surprising thing I learnt was that I, I, well, I gained confidence from it. I thought I was going to feel super, like, insecure about it because of how many views it got and stuff because I'd never been exposed like that before. Oh, my God. 
What are the biggest challenges during the process of making this album? The biggest challenge was putting myself into the headspace of wanting to make an album. I'm really lazy, so I was not trying to do anything. Oh. <laughs> Aaliyah! <laughs> How are you? Am I meant to be styling you in what I'd want yeah. you to wear? Oh, okay. In your style. Okay, yeah, I think we can do this. Okay. I just don't want to make her look anything ugly. I don't want to make her look bad. I'm going to go for something a bit less controversial than what I'm used to. No, I'm not. I'm going to go controversial. F it, why not? Okay. This is seriously good. And I'm actually going to give you a pair of Mosti Mostino blue jeans. It's your time. Be free, Padawan. Ooh, I'm turning into a butterfly. I love your style, though, because I feel like it's like true Y2K. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's it's also just ugly. That could be camp though, because a lot of people say my style is ugly too. Really? Mm -hmm. But like in We're a in camp together. way. Yeah. yeah, in a camp rock way. Yeah. Exactly. She's so scared I can't look. <laughs> I can't! I cannot and can't. I this know. is a serious, serious serve. I actually give this outfit like eight and a half. On a first date, sometimes I cover up more on a date. Oh, oh girl. <laughs> <laughs> don't let it happen again. <laughs> don't, don't interrupt me again. Hello? Bitch, this is gay to me. Oh. This is legit, I'm telling you, like, hands down. This is JPG, did you know that? Do you know what JPG stands for? John Paul Gautier. I would rate this one seven. Seven is still high. Yes, and she did. This is the one I told you. <laughs> this is really cool. I actually give this outfit a ten. Yes, yes. I love this outfit. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> it's a box. Is this a puzzle? Oh, I have to figure out how to open it. Okay, see, I've always wanted to do a one of these. So it's these two at the side. Oh, I'm gonna bring one over. No, my nail's fine. I am a team player, but I do like, when I'm in a team, I do take that leader role sometimes. And usually when I take charge, it works out. Usually, sometimes it doesn't though. I have been known to fail escape rooms as well as win them, so I'm not perfect. I keep feel like I talk about escape rooms so much. I like talk about the same three things in every interview. Saw, escape rooms, horror films, love those. I love horror films, so I love horror films. I would love to soundtrack a horror film. Horror films I've been feeling at the moment. Probably Saw, let's be real with ourselves. There's a Saw section about the film Saw. Yeah, I am so obsessed with Saw. I love horror films which are about the main character being in a room and having to escape, otherwise they die. Okay, okay, yeah. This is an interesting concept. I don't like it. <laughs> Okay. And then oh. the big slide. And then the big slide. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't get how I did that. <laughs> Find the container with the wink to affirm your identity and reach the end of your journey. That is hidden away with the thirsty birds forever. <laughs> it's ice spice pops out. Hi! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is adorable. What's in the box? What's in the box? Another horror film? What do you wish for yourself for the next year? And I still hope that I find my rich. Maybe that's him. Can you imagine it? That's the universe. Sending the sign. I'm here. How would you want the world to remember me? Great music, and then obviously just like staying true to thine self and keeping the integrity intact. That's all I care about. That's all I care about. Yeah, no, yeah, that's it. That's everything. Thank you, ID, for this opportunity. <laughs> Everything's about me, I'd soundtrack it. I'd star in it. It would be me, everything would be me. That's the, yeah. I would have loved to be in a girl group, but we move, we move.